Democratic Republic of the Congo. If you've never heard of this country, at least you've heard of Muhammad Ali, one of the greatest boxers of all time, or arguably the best sportsman of all time. Now, this is the country where he had his famous fight, the Rambo in the Jungle, with boxer George Foreman, and it took place in the capital, Kinshasa. The Democratic Republic of the Congo is by far the richest country in terms of natural resources in the whole world, but surprisingly, did you also know that it has some of the poorest citizens on this planet? In this video, we share the story behind this tragic predicament that the country has been trapped in for the last over a hundred years that have passed and still counting. When Africa was taken over by European powers, Belgium was one of those European countries that took over the Democratic Republic of the Congo. This area was primarily occupied by different kingdoms and amongst these was the Congo Kingdom. The country in itself is very dense when it comes to forest cover so the Belgian colonialists already knew this was a very fertile land when it comes to what exactly they needed from it and this included timber and many other natural resources that were readily available in the country. Now fast forward, when the country got her independence in 1960, the Democratic Republic of the Congo started having power struggles among its top politicians at the time. In 1961, the Prime Minister Patrice Lumumba was executed on the orders of Colonel Joseph Mobutu who had just been helped to take over power by the United States. Now this created many other opposing factions to his government and ever since this beautiful African country has never gotten peace within its borders. It should be noted that many of these rebel groups and other opposing factions are supported by external powers which has kept the country in a devastating state of unrest. And as the citizens keep fighting each other, many of its natural resources are looted away by both local leaders and external interested parties. Now to bring this all to your attention, if you didn't know, the Democratic Republic of the Congo is among the leading producers of diamond, gold, copper, cobalt, tin, tantalum, lithium and so many other valuable minerals. It's some of these minerals that are used to manufacture some of the most powerful gadgets that are used to drive technology today. But unfortunately, the citizens never get to enjoy any of this money because these minerals in most times are sold on the black market. The few of these minerals that are publicly declared to the country's citizens only contribute a gross domestic product of about 51 billion US dollars, giving the country a gross domestic product per capita of only about 418 US dollars. Despite having all this natural wealth, the citizens of the country are left to be in a very poor state and according to the World Bank, it reports that over 90% of the citizens in the Democratic Republic of the Congo live on less than a dollar per day. This country has deliberately been kept at war and some might even say it might never realize its 
potential as a nation but in my opinion i believe its leaders need to call for a dialogue i mean call all these rival factions sit down and see how far they've remained behind so that they devise and work on a plan on how best to go forward as a team or as an entire country because the Democratic Republic of the Congo has got the potential to actually become an African or if not a world superpower if it's given a chance. Now for more about Africa, we recommend you watch this next video for you to even learn better about the continent.